Welcome back. This is part two of our segment with uh, Coach Manny Matsakis, and we had a great talk in part one, if you haven't heard it, uh, with uh, regards to a tribute to legendary coach Mike Leach. Mike Leach, forgive me. And also uh, the fan-controlled uh, football league as well, right? So, Coach, uh, one of the things that I've learned about you in a, in our in, a, in, a, in you know in our conversations, you're one busy guy. Okay, you're coaching the fan control football league. Whenever I've texted you, you're somewhere at a coaching clinic. In particular, you have your podcast, the Manny Masaka Show. What else is new? Well, a lot of things are new. I've actually put the, the podcast, which was it was doing. I mean. I put it on a hiatus because so much new stuff, the move and everything happened. I think at one point it was getting about 9,000 downloads every month, you know, so it it was, it was doing, it's been doing great, you know, and had corporate sponsorship and all that. But um, it was something that I I decided, let me hold for a little bit because I've got some projects I wanted to work on to help some coaches. So I, um, a year, last December, I was down in, uh, they flew me down to a high school in San Antonio. So I installed my offense. It's a triple shoot offense that more in high school near SeaWorld in San Antonio. And they, they had, I think the previous year had won like two games and, and then they made a, a deep run into the Texas playoffs running the system had a, I mean, it was literally the, the biggest turnaround in Texas high school football. So it was sort of fun to, to go down there for three days, install the system Ever since that, I've got guys all over the country that are saying, hey, can you fly, fly you in? So I'm trying to figure out where in the world I'm going to get the time to go to places like Minnesota and other schools in Texas, California, and even had a guy in France call me. So it's like, oh wow, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> sort of crazy, but uh, the, the system has been very popular whenever I've gone in and helped these guys, you know, install it. They get it right from the source. So that's been good. And then, um, you know, I guess lately, you know, as, as I've been working on all this stuff, it's like leaving fan control. I, I, I'm been literally, literally been in like an incubation mode for about four or five months. Um, you know, I've got my whiteboard here. I, I, I have constant zoom calls and I I'm working on, I, I guess I'd call it my legacy project. Like what is it I can create, uh, based on, in the football world that would be special and, and, and really contribute at, 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 a, at a high level. And uh, that's what I'm working on now. Um, I'm actually, it's a, it's a product I'm testing out in June if everything goes right. So, uh, you know, maybe we'll come back and hopefully everything goes well. We'll come back and talk about that again because it is, it is something that uh, does not currently exist. But it, but it's been, and when you see it later, you'll be like, oh wow, I can see where you came up with this idea, and um, I'm going to showcase it in about mid June, and it's football related, and I guess because of the people I'm working with, I can't really talk about it much, but it'll be fun. I mean, I, I just love helping uh, create new things all the time. So there, there's something on the horizon. If it hits and it work, looks good, I'll, I'll reach out to you and we can, we can, I'll even have some things to show you, some video. Perfect. Yeah, of course. You know, of course. I would love to have you. You know, you're always welcome on the show. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, love it. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. So when you, when you, when you get that project done, if it's off and running, we'll have you on. I'll let promote you know. It. Yeah. Ab- absolutely. Fun. Absolutely. Okay. Well, one of the things that I, I, I want to discuss with you, uh, once again, you know, your, your history with the air raid, your history with, uh, with Mike Leach and so on and Dana Holgerson. The Miami Hurricanes uh, hired new offensive coordinator, Coach Shannon Dawson. Uh, he is air raid, but if you look at uh, if you look at Houston's numbers, they also ran the ball very well at Houston. So it's about 60, uh, about 55, 45, 60, uh, 60, 40 in terms of pass versus uh, versus mm-hmm. run. What can we expect uh, from Coach Dawson? Well, you you can expect more of the Dana Holgerson side of things as opposed to the Mike Leach side of things or the how mummy, even though he's an air raid guy. I mean, you got to understand his background. I'm trying to think he was at, he started out at Wingate college as a receiver coach. Dana Holgerson was there. Okay. So that, that was like back in like the uh, maybe 2002 ish. Right. So, so it's like way back then he and Dana were, were connected. And I think, um, 
you know, throughout it. Then he was with Hal Mummy at Southeast Louisiana. That's the first time I, I had met him because I was the head coach at Texas State, and we played Hal and those guys. And uh, I remember him coming up to me after. I was like, I mean, we, we smoked him pretty good. And it was pretty interesting because it, it, was, it was one of those deals. The defensive coordinator for Hal was Woody Woodenhofer. And, you know, I had St- Pittsburgh Steelers, Super Bowl rings and all that. And I think he was miffed and he couldn't stop us. So it was one of those things. And I remember just getting to know Shannon a little bit, that young coach, but bright. And uh, and he, he was sort of like on Hal's uh, hip pocket, right? I mean, he was like New Mexico State with Hal. Then he was, a, you know, and then, then one thing led to another. And he's at West Virginia coaching receivers with Dana when he got that job there. And um, I think in the formative years, he was more of a receiver guy, right, position coach. And, and somehow, I think it was in 2015, he ends up going to the University of Kentucky to work for my friend Mark Stoops and, and to be his offensive coordinator. And it just bombed. It was awful. I mean, it was – he was getting booed out of the city. I mean, uh, it was not a good – but and it wasn't – Shannon, I believe it was just it wasn't a perfect fit with, with what Mark really wanted because the departure after he left was they were they were just running the ball all the time. So it was like Mark didn't want that. I think in some ways he he was looking out there and knew Holgerson was doing such a great job at West Virginia. He said, I'll just come do that because back in the day when Tim Couch was at Kentucky, the air raid was the deal. So I, I think there was some booster factions. They wanted to get the air raid back at Kentucky. And it just wasn't a fit because, hey, Mark is a fantastic defensive coach, and he wants to win games that way. And uh, there was too much risk involved, and it didn't work. And, you know, long story short, I, I texted Shannon after he left to say, hey, I hope it, things go well for you down at Southern Miss. And they did. Like two years, I think – the next year or two years later, they played Kentucky and, and he beat them. So it was like, you know, it was like, whoa, flip the tables. And then I think after that, you know, he, he went to Houston and, uh, and, and as because of that experience, I think he started to become better as an offensive coordinator. And I think he's matured to that point right now. You know, he's in, I think he's in his mid forties, probably 45, 46. Yeah. He's young. Yeah. But, but not, but, is really, I think, poised to help make something special happen happen at Miami, especially like you mentioned earlier in the earlier episode, how Leach would would have been a great guy there. Well, Shannon's going to have at least that mentality and recruit the same kind of guys, which are all over the place. I don't even think if you if you're with the Hurricanes, shoot, you know, 30 mile radius, you're in good shape, right? That there's very few places like that. And um, and Houston is similar. So Houston the same way. You draw a circle around the city of Houston, you don't really need to go anywhere. So I, I think he'll be a really great fit for them. And and he's a wonderful guy. And uh, and and you know he's one of those young guys I'm I'm a fan of and and want him to do well. Uh, quick question. I, it seems to me that the only the only place where he struggled in was was Kentucky. Because he it. had history, yeah, Southern Miss. I mean, Miami fans. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Miami fan base is a little, you know, so they focus on that. Do you uh, do you believe that maybe because Mark Stoops was such a defensive guy that he might have been a little over micromanaged uh, while he was at Kentucky and not allowed to implement what he really wanted on offense? I, it's really hard to say. It well, yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you this. Okay, so it's not. Some people think it's micromanagement. I, it wasn't like Mark was saying, you got to run this, this, and this. He let him run it. Okay. The problem was he didn't let – I'm going to say he walked into a situation where the program wasn't built for it, mm-hmm. so there was going to be growing pains. So when you're sitting in that situation, it's like – it. it would Shannon have been successful there? I believe absolutely if he had gotten a three-year run. But one year and he's out, which, okay, that, that, was a, that just didn't fit – philosophically so I think at Miami you're going to have you may not have the, the exact players yet but I think you're in, you're way more along that trajectory to what Shannon's going to want and and literally they're in his backyard so he can get those guys but I, I think the key there is going to be how 
how you know how the head coach is going to say, "Look, this is different, man. You're 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 sitting here on the one foot line and you're throwing the ball into the end zone. You know, it's going to be, you know, you got to be willing to say, "Hey, it's fourth and six, and you're on the fifty yard line. We're going for it." Things like that. That's part of the mentality of this, and and that's my only concern because I don't think that. Uh, you would know more. You follow the Hurricanes. I don't know that that's the necessary has been the philosophy of the head coach of, of Mario over time to take those kinds of risks. But um, you know that that's that's just I know to be really good at what Shannon does, you've got it. You've got to sort of stay away, stay off the reins, and then there's times you can't be yourself as the head coach because you just want to win a game, you know, and you think that's how you do it, but. It's been proven differently. Yeah, well, we're all – not all, but it was, it was a surprise when Dawson was hired because Mario's yeah, a big yeah. balance guy. Like, we all thought that initially yeah. Jason Candle was going to get the job, the head coach at Toledo, because mm-hmm. he's such a 50-50 guy in run versus pass. So when Dawson was hired, we were, it kind of a breath, breath of fresh air because it showed that Coach Cristobal uh, was willing to adjust his offense, maybe not to – the complete balance, but yeah. have a more ha- pass happy, you know, offensive coordinator versus someone that emphasize, emphasizes the run. What happened with Coach Gaddis, and the reason why I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought that we needed a change, mm-hmm. was that was that the the personnel we had on this roster even today fits more of an air raid offense than of it does yeah. you know a Big Ten Michigan Smash Mouth. We're gonna just bully you the complete way. The, yeah. the way the way the roster is structured right now with recruitment and even some skill position players, especially at the slot receivers and running backs, you can have a balanced offense with an air raid component because you have running yeah. backs that are good passing receivers sure. and you have slot receivers that are burning. We're missing that wide guy, you know, that, that, that can go deep. But yeah. eventually I think we will get him because of the of Coach Dawson. I asked you th- about the whole micromanagement thing because, I mean, fans are fans. You know, in particular, they don't know exactly what's in, what goes on inside a coach's office. Like, like, like I said, you know, Coach Coach Cristobal shocked a lot of people with the hiring of, of Coach Dawson. But people believe because of because of the way Oregon's offense was built that that Mario is a micromanager. All right, is a mm-hmm. micromanager of his assistants. Okay. Um, uh, how and, and and you and you told me, you know, that that he'd be good if he's left alone. You know, so so how as as a coach, you you've been a head coach and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. How uh how important is it to give your coordinators free reign to be themselves, you know, while they're yeah. while they're on the field? Well, a- unless you're Nick Saban or Bill Belichick, <laughs> you need to let the experts on the other side of the ball take care of things. Because okay. you know why I say that is those are two guys that ha- are masters of of really understanding the game, unlike anybody else. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know anybody else in even in those guys league when you think about this, you know, total offense, defense, special team. So so I, I think it's important. It's going to there's going to be a point there where you're going to have to, you know, hey, it's fourth and six on the 50. And you say, all right, we're going to go for it. And it, the problem is the way you say it will affect the way these kids execute, because okay. you, you may say that and in your heart, you don't believe it. And then Shannon's out the door. You know, so that that's there's a lot of risk going into there. I mean, he's been in a comfort zone with Dana, but I will tell you this. If you were going to pick any of the air raid guys out there that could fit in what Mario wants, based on what you're telling me, it's Dana Holgerson's version of the air raid. I mean, he's willing to run the ball, pound it and spread it out. He he is one of the very few that are there. There's only two systems I think that would with Mario would have been great him or that art brow system with Kendall okay. there. So those are the two I think would can have great success because of, of with coach Cristobal. I mean, that, that would be my outside assessment of it. And, um, and I, like I said, I, I'm rooting for him. I really, I really want him to do well there. And, um, and I, I think it would go a long way. Miami could be, Back to the glory days, you know, if this thing goes the right way. I agree. It's uh, we tried big names last year, didn't work yeah. out. Now we're going with the up and coming. So he's got to get it right, you know. So and I think and I and I think Coach Cristobal understands that, and I do believe that uh, Coach Dawson does have a much. But listen, you could for as long as as uh, for as long as he's coached Coach Dawson, yeah. Holgerson, Leach, 
you know, you could find seasons where there hasn't been the best, you know, there hasn't been the, the, the best seat, the, the best time, even with Bill Belichick, you can find, oh, you yeah. know, uh, an unsuc- unsuccessful year or two. Uh, but the bottom line is that what does the track record say? Coach Dawson has been successful wherever he's gone. And I think that's something we should go with, you know, go with, you know, as Kane's fans. Love it. And, and yeah, I agree with you hundred percent. Thank you so much. Uh, Coach Masakis, thank you so much for coming. I know you got to run because, you, again, you're you're a busy, busy guy. Uh, <laughs> okay. But before you go, before you go, um, is there – I know you have your podcast. Is there is there anyone you want to let the listeners know where they can find you, even if it's old, uh, uh, older, you know, interviews you've done in the past? Well, I mean, I was uh, – I was other than my – the Manny Matt Sackis show podcast. That's got plenty of episodes there. Uh, I've got my website. That's a place. A lot of guys, it's just Manny That's an easy way to go. And um, you can see some things there. I comment on certain things, but, uh, but right now all my efforts are on this other project. So I, I, I can't wait to visit with you and uh, I'll tell you in private later what it's about, but um, okay. you know, let's see where it goes. It'll be a lot of fun and who knows we can, uh, reimagine a few things as you start thinking about football if this goes the right way that sounds awesome i can't wait to hear about it all right but once again coach thank you for uh once again for coming on 305 sports now we greatly appreciate it all right ladies and gentlemen if you like what you heard please do not forget to like share and subscribe once again i am will stay safe god bless see you soon and go canes